Be strong. Death. Everything is a cycle. Winter. Spring. Summer. Fall. All you've got to do is call, and I'll be there, yes I will. You've got a friend. Walang kinalaman yan sa toko. Gusto ko lang umanta. Happy Easter! Yay! We celebrate the resurrection of Jesus, and I pray magsasalita ang Panginoon sa iyo ngayon. Hindi lang through me, but through the speakers and the worship and the entire grand feast. God bless you. I am so excited to be able to share this time with you. Listen, I want you to think about breathing. Inhale and exhale. The power of God. Let me repeat what I said in uh, the start of our Holy Week retreat. That in Hebrew, the word for breath and wind and spirit is one. In English, you've got three words. In Hebrew, only one. Ruach. What does that mean? Na pare pareho sila. You know, one of the things that, I, that comes to mind is the fact that it is the spirit that gives life. I should know, right? <laughs> Just last year, had had that experience with COVID where I could not breathe. And when I think about life today, how can we live our life without the power of God in us? We cannot. We cannot because life is difficult. Can I say that? Can you say that? Can you put your heart, your mind, and, and, and I want you to put your hands over your chest and, and just say that, that Without the power of God, I am nothing. You know, we cannot live without the power of God because life is difficult. Can I share you a story? So there was this woman in front of me and she was crying and crying and crying and she was saying, Galit ako kay Lord, I'm so angry at God. And why? Because she, she was telling me the story of her two failed businesses. And she told me this, I prayed. I worked, but nothing. God put those dreams in my heart, and then He gave me obstacles along the way, so I will not fulfill those dreams. I'm suck it, brother Bo. I'm angry at God. You know, she, and, and I just allowed her to cry, and I just allowed her to speak, and then she felt better. And then she said, thank you, brother Bo. <laughs> it's like, I didn't do anything, <laughs> but usually that's what happens, right? You just let the person cry and, and they feel better. And I told her that, you know, God can handle your an anger. Go ahead, get angry at God. He is big enough <laughs> to handle her anger. But then when she was ready to listen, it was my turn to tell her a story. And, and I said, you know, I was 13 years old when I started preaching and serving God. And then after that, serve the poor. For three years, I was in the boondocks, building Anawim. No running water, no electricity, you know, living in a Baha'i Kubo, you know, accepting and welcoming the poorest of the poor. For five years, I was living in a bodega with other missionaries sleeping on the floor. I was radical. I was all out. I was 100%. So that, before I got married, about two years before that, I said to myself, I'm going to become an entrepreneur to support my family. Alam mo, I was like you, I told her. I had this unconscious belief that, well, you know, I gave my life to God and there's one person who God will favor. Binigay ko lahat sa iyo. So you're going to bless my business. Yeah, so I put up my first business and it failed. I put up my second business and it failed. Last count, I put up 18 businesses that failed. You, you name it, I tried it. Selling memorial plants, engine oil, squid bowl, ice cream. I, I imported, you know, goods from China and, and sold stuff. I, I, I produced foreign acts, uh, concerts, and, you know, clinics and restaurants. Ginawa ko lahat, lahat palpak. And they were so painful. But I just kept on keeping on did not stop 
<laughs> today, fast forward today, many, many, many years later, I have two businesses with 200 employees. And, you know, so this woman was listening to me and she said, wow, so Brother Bo, what you're telling me is, try lang ng try, hanggang I will succeed. And I told her, I, I just shook my head, I said, no, I want you to redefine success. For a lot of people, success is, you know, when you reach a certain goal and, you know, you arrive at that place that wala nang problema, na solve mo na lahat ng problema. You know, people think that there is such a thing as a painless life. Meron silang hallucination. <laughs> and I'm telling you now, that's a fantasy. There's no such thing. You only have one choice in your life. The, wala namang, the, you know, yung, the, a, 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 a place na parang, ah, wala nang hassle, wala nang trial. There's no such thing. You only have a choice, and the choice is this. To embrace pain with God or without God. Umili ka. Success is embracing pain with God beside you. Araw-araw magkakaroon ka ng problema. You think right now with my businesses, parang, oh, successful na si Brother Bo. You ask any entrepreneur with a growing business and I'm telling you, they will tell you araw-araw, kumakain sila ng problema, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You know, there is no time or point na, you know, everything magkaana. No, you're, you're gonna face trials. But that's the point. And which is what I'm going to share with you today, my dear friends. If you're going through some trials right now, really difficult times, I want you to hold on to God. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, God says, He will be with you. Call out His name. He's going to be there. Friday ba ang buhay mo ngayon? Madilim ba? Gabi? Day is coming. If it's Friday, Sunday is coming. In fact, Sunday is here. We are celebrating the resurrection of Jesus. If you are going through a storm right now, can I say this? Every storm, has ended. Yolanda Manyan, you know, whatever. It ends. And then the calm is there. We celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. Jesus is alive. And right now in your life, parang hindi buhay ang Panginoon. Kasi ang dami mong problema. Ang bigat, bigat. Sa balikat mo. You're carrying it right now. I'm telling you, Easter is here. And God is alive. Hold on to Him. Breathe. Gulong gulo ka ba? Breathe. Madilim. Ang baligid mo. Breathe. There will not come a time na wala nang problema. One last story before we end. One last story. When I wanted to become an entrepreneur, I, you know, I had already a, a baby. And, and I, I said to myself, Gusto ko matuto magbenta kasi I don't, I didn't know how to sell company. And when I did, and in my mind, I was saying, Kayang-kaya ko to. Magaling ko magsalita. Oh my gosh. Oh, selling is brutal. I'm telling you. You know, nine times out of ten sales calls, I get rejected. And every rejection was painful. I took it personally. You know, they were not rejecting the product, they were rejecting me. There was this one night, I, went, I traveled for three hours to make a sales, sales presentation. Rejection, not a single person bought. Midnight, I went home, and I told myself, I give up, I give up, ayoko na. Kaya lang, when I was lying down in bed, beside my wife and my baby, I figured to myself, wala naman ako ng choice. <laughs> and then, I had this idea. Idea, I said, what if I change the meaning of rejection? What if instead of rejection equals looser, rejection equals stronger? 
Because I, I read it somewhere, you know. Nine rejections. Oh, meron isa nagsend said yes. So, damihan mo yung rejection mo. Dadami rin yung sins. And so, I began to realize, okay, okay, okay. What if I become comfortable with the pain of rejection? Be comfortable. Embrace it. That's what happened. I began to look for rejection. <laughs> and so for the next 12 months of selling, I, I, I earned a million pesos. And then I, and then I put up my own business and, and, and you know, I, I told you about it, you know, after many failures, after many pains, and then, and, and, you know, it is what it is today. You know, earning much, much, much more, but still going through the pains and still going through the trials every single day. But that's the point. I repeat what I said a while ago. Can you embrace pain with God beside you? So if you're going through trials right now, hingalang, relax. Receive and inhale the love of God and the power of God and the strength of God. God is with you. God is with you. Friend, God is with you. You just call out my name and you know wherever I am I'll come running to see you again God is here inhale his love inhale his grace happy Easter